Hello and welcome to Emerald Meadows, uh, your one-stop channel for all things uh, 3D printing, RC, and sometimes quilting. Um, I've been doing a few uh, sewing projects, but I haven't done videos on them. Uh, they were pretty small, but uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to do a video on, on, on more sewing projects in the near future. Uh, today we're going to be uh, talking about uh, 3D printed uh, quadcopter. I uh, had worked on doing a tricopter, um, and I'll be honest with you, I had, didn't have a lot of success in, in building it and printing it was okay, it's getting the, um, the controller card to kind of do all the stuff I wanted to do, so um, I kind of went back to my old standby uh, quadcopters, and this is an ABS printed uh, uh, quadcopter, uh, and uh, it's from the uh, mini, uh, mini quad. I modified the SDL files because I, I found that A, they, they weren't in the right direction for printing and for those that are just starting out, uh, you'll go and look at the SDL files and say, oh, this is fantastic, I want to do it, uh, but it won't print. So I changed the orientation, I did the rotations, I made this cover a bit larger uh, because I wanted to uh, fit a, uh, a three cell battery in here. And uh, what was in there uh, actually wouldn't um, wouldn't hold uh, a three cell battery. So uh, this way, I made this this a bit bigger, so I can put a uh, a three cell battery in there. Makes it uh, gives me a longer flight time. And I'll, I'll show a little flight video I, I made on this. It flies really nice. Um, I use a CC3D uh, controller. Uh, that's kind of my um, uh, my standby controller. Uh, I will swap that out and put something else in, but I want to make sure everything flew. And uh, I know with the CC3D, I know I'll get my craft in the air. Um, I've modified also the length of the arms so that we could put a larger prop. This is an 8x4 prop. Uh, the length of the uh, arms were actually too small to lift this based on the weight. Uh, by the time you added the uh, battery, uh, this is a fully enclosed area, so there's more weight uh, in the amount of plastic that's on it, although it looks nice and it flies well, uh, there is also more weight than a simple, uh, this here is a skeletal frame and it's just simply carbon fiber layer, so not a lot of weight uh, to that type of, of quad. This one here has, a, has more weight because it's, it's a fully enclosed unit. Uh, so I, uh, I enjoyed this build, I enjoyed being able to go in and modify uh, the STL files and make them work for for the materials that you have on hand because sometimes you may have larger or smaller motors, props are different so being able to change the product and that's one of the great things about 3D printing you can go in and make and custom make your product uh, to work for you so I will show a little close up of what I did on the interior um, and it's pretty basic um, there, is, uh, there is room here for a camera on the front uh, I will put the camera on when I get the um, the right controller card in there. It could be the NAS32. I'm looking for something with, uh, with a barometer at least and uh, uh, maybe a GPS uh, for stability. Um, but uh, we will, uh, but for this one here, I'll show you what I did on the inside uh, with the CC3D to make it work. Um, again, the CC3D is my go-to. NFR Sky is my uh, go-to uh, receiver and transmitters. Uh, so we'll take a look at this um, uh, and, uh, and uh, show you in detail and a little bit of a flight video on, uh, on how she flies. Standard, but I thought I would share anyway. I have, uh, what I did is I, I'll have links to all this uh, on the video. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, this will, all the files I used will be up on Thingiverse. Uh, I bought uh, four 10 amp uh, ESCs. I got them on special at uh, AliExpress. I'll share those. Uh, I'm not sure about the quality, but for close proximity flying, I'm, I'm not, not that concerned about it. I used a power distribution board uh, and started all my ESCs and my battery terminals, as well as the terminal for my uh, voltage center, uh, sensor for my FR sky. Again, uh, uh, FR Sky is still uh, my tried and true um, radio system. Um, it's still by far the most versatile for anybody uh, getting into the hobby. 
Uh, and down here is the CC3D. I'm using PWM uh, instead of uh, uh, PPM. Uh, it's just the it's just the configuration that um, that works with this radio. This this um, uh, receiver here will not do PPM, only PWM. So that's why that CC3D is uh, uh, working on PWM. Uh, so a straightforward connection. I use the um, the ground station software that came with CC3D uh, to set it up, and I set it up for the defaults. So there's nothing there's nothing magic about the inside, uh, other than the power distribution board to connect all my speed controllers and battery terminals, uh, and then I have the CC3D. You notice I put little markings on there with my little red fabric markers. Uh, just so that I always get my wires uh, back where they should be if I'm doing a quick uh, modification. Uh, so that's the inside, and uh, we'll talk about uh, how I printed some of the outside parts. Um, uh, the uh, as mentioned uh, as I mentioned before, there's a lot of uh, files up there, and I tried to make the print files that I that I sent out pragmatic for what you're actually going to be flying, uh, rather than some idealized product. So. I designed like these arms are designed to work with an eight by four prop. Gives you a bit of clearance here uh, in between the props. Uh, the model that was there uh, didn't quite work with the props I had. And the great thing about 3D printing, you can adjust any of these dimensions to fit whatever product you have in stock, rather than having to wait around uh, to find out what you need. So that's one of the things I like about 3D printing. So uh, now that you've seen the inside, and we talked a bit about the printing. Uh, let's take a take a look at this and how it flies. Now that you've seen a bit on the interior, it's not much in there. Some inexpensive ESCs and the uh, flight controller, uh, and I, I did enjoy using that um, power distribution card. It was five dollars uh, on AliExpress, and there'll be a link uh, to that as well. Uh, it certainly makes it makes it convenient for joining all those cables together, and there's a bit of a, a U back in there, uh, a back in there if you want to use it. I simply use the power off one of the ESCs um, for uh, powering up the uh, flight controller. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video, and there'll be a slight little little uh, uh, video of flight that I took at the field. Not a great one because I didn't have a camera person. Uh, but uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, say like and please subscribe to my channel.